Jersey City Ward D Councilman Michael Young shared his frustration with Corporation Council Jeremy Farrell before voting for a 30-year tax exemption for a mixed rental project to be constructed by Ocean MLK Urban Renewal. Young referred to the documents as insulting while pointing out the discrepancies in each. But based on my study, there's a serious problem we face. One, all but say very clear, we're going to contribute some money to the board away. 10% annual surcharge, but the 10% of annual surcharge come from the developer. That's what old ones say there. New ones said that 10% come from our share, our annual surcharge. If the way mayor say, if we're gonna share our annual surcharge 10%, then their school contribution have to be have $10,000 per year not $35,000. So somehow they charge three times more than what we said. If you see that search charge versus the conventional charge, if you see that chart, you're gonna laugh at yourself. First, any search charge, they supposed to be $100,000. They put it over here, $15,000 a year. You gotta explain to us. They're gonna pay over the 20 years, less than $60,000 tax per year. You know what? That's not right to us. And you misread the discount. So we printed this one as a voting merit. I think as insult, insulting every council members of this room. So I'm strongly recommending we throw, fix the numbers and then bring back to this council again. Like, what is important is that 10% of the service charge is going to go to the school board uh, and sharing these pilot payment uh, for these affordable units. Uh, more important than all that, though, is, uh, is that, you know, council, you have to be careful when you make certain statements. We all work very hard, and everyone's hard work could never amount to an insult to this body. Everyone's trying to very hard to enable this affordable housing to get built. And I think that it would be a travesty to hold back even a day. If we see the supporting documentation, search charge versus the conventional. Column two, search charge with the purchasing less land tax credit, they show the $15,000 a year. But all the other states are almost $10,000, $100,000. Why is it so different? One paper said they have to pay first year, $100,000, 103,607, and this suffering documentation, they only pay 15,000. You know how much is different? Yeah, so obviously, uh, there's a, a reconciliation that has to be done with the numbers, uh, but we'll have that redone for the second reading. During the discussion, Jersey City Ward B Councilman Chris Gatson confirmed with Vice President of Development for RPM Development Group, Joseph Portelli, on units set aside for low and moderate income. Uh -huh. As Councilman Robinson said, those lots were vacant and the opportunity. This, this development project has been underway for years. And everybody knows that well. TR, folks remember TRF was involved with it. And, um, and now it's, uh, RPM is stepping in here to, uh, to pick up the pieces and really bring this, uh, pull this project together. So um, it's, it's welcome. We should get the numbers right on the uh, fiscal impact analysis there. Um, but um, we should definitely need to move this forward as we're meeting our deadlines um, and the necessary deadlines. Otherwise, we're basically looking at another year before we can even apply, before the developer can apply for the funding. Jersey City Council voted 9 0 on the first reading of the ordinance. Hudson County View, the eye of the community.